Rugrats in Paris, the movie is a video game based on the movie of the same name from the Nickelodeon animated series, Rugrats. The game follows the adventures of a group of young children in a European theme park. The game was released in 2000, for the PlayStation, Nintendo 64, and Game Boy Color. A version for Microsoft Windows was later released in 2001. A Sega Dreamcast version of the game was planned to be made and planned for release in 2001, but it was later cancelled during the middle of development. Gameplay Tommy Pickle's father has been sent to Europe to fix a broken robot at Euroreptarland and has decided to bring his family and friends with him. In the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation versions, the player can choose between six playable characters throughout the game, Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Angelica, or Kimmy. There are approximately 16 levels, as well as hidden bonus levels, in both single and multiplayer minigames. The object of the game is to collect enough gold raptor tickets to buy the raptor helmet that controls a giant robot raptor. Tickets are earned during minigames, and can also be collected throughout the park. During most minigames, the player plays against ninjas. Aside from minigames, the theme park is otherwise devoid of other people. The Game Boy Color version features eight side scrolling levels and seven minigames, while the plot involves Chucky and the other children searching the theme park for a princess to become his new mother. The game includes Dill as an additional character, unlike the home console versions. Each minigame is played with a different character. Many minigames include a time limit during which the player must complete the game. Tickets, earned by playing minigames, allow the player to advance to new levels, which are accessed via an overhead map of the park. A password is provided after the completion of each level, allowing the player to resume the game at a later point. The Windows version includes six minigames, and involves the children searching for Chucky's Wawa bear at the theme park. Reception The game was met with mixed reception upon release. Game Rankings and Metacritic gave it a score of 62.67% for the PlayStation version, 69.50% and 64 out of 100 for the Nintendo 64 version, and 49.50% for the Game Boy Color version. Joe Rybitsky of Official US PlayStation Magazine wrote that the PlayStation version was not the most impressive kid game he had ever seen, but noted that it had some positive elements. Rybitsky wrote that while none of the minigames were mind-blowing, they are entertaining for kids of various ages. However, the touchy controls and poor collision detection may make trouble for really young kids. Tom Zijaba of Allgame, who reviewed the PlayStation version, praised its two-player mode and wrote that the game's theme park features a nice amount of detail and loads of variety between the different areas. There are some clipping problems and a few bland environments, but this platformer is for the most part visually pleasing. As is the case with most 3D platform titles, there are also some camera problems and control quirks, neither of which is bad enough to hamper the fun factor." Zijaba concluded that while it was not groundbreaking, it was still a good game for children new to the PlayStation. Mark Nix of IGN felt that the PlayStation version would be too difficult for young children, and criticized its non-simultaneous two-player mode, as well as its repetitive loading times. Nix praised the game's frame rate and music, but criticized the poor quality of its sound effects and voiceovers, and wrote, The graphics are beautifully colorful and brimming with details, but the engine has shaky textures, breakup, and all other manner of polygon errors. Still, most kids won't care when there's ninjas to battle. Nix also noted, Unfortunately, there are no people in Reptorland besides the babies themselves, a very eerie phenomenon that would scare most kids if it happened for real, so there's nobody to interact with or have fun with outside the games themselves. Nix criticized the Game Boy Color version for its stiff controls, its password feature, and its poor graphics. Nix also criticized the gameplay for being slow, tedious, and difficult, particularly for young children. Corey D. Lewis of IGN criticized the Nintendo 64 version for its slow moving characters, although he called the game, simple, yet fun on a very basic level, noting that it was more likely to appeal to younger children. 
Lewis offered particular praise for the game's miniature golf minigame, as well as the game's sound, music, and graphics, although he criticized its frame rate. Sally Serrell of PC Magazine rated the Windows version 3 out of 5 and praised its wonderful animation, but criticized its difficult navigation. 